I knew right away, I, I've got to figure out a way to build trust and I can't do it in person. Previous to the pandemic, I'd be going from office to office to office. I was really big about being in person, forming that relationship in person. And when that was taken away, it was, it was a challenge. I don't know that I fully figured it out, but I can tell you what I, the path had gone down is I had a one-on-one through, through teams with every single people manager within the first six weeks after taking over. That was really critical to understand who they are, reinforce that I care about them personally, and I care about how their teams are doing. They are on my radar. And then two, it's forced me, I think, just from a leadership standpoint, to clarify what my vision is. And very quickly after taking over this larger team, like I said, the first thing I did was meet with every one of my people managers. I did that specifically to build trust. And then within a couple weeks after that, I came out with the kind of our, our longer term strategy for this particular part of the organization. And it was very clear as I rolled that out. This was built through the conversations I've had with each of you. It was built through a virtual offsite that we held with our leadership group. And it was built in conversation with our customers. So we embedded an employee's voice, leader's voice, and a customer's voice into this vision. 